it's a, it, it, it's a title there which I guess in some respects can cause a, a bit of amusement um, and in other areas perhaps a bit of, bit of consternation. Um, but I think probably for most people, and maybe, maybe all of you here who've joined this session, uh, maybe it causes just a bit of a, a, a wry smile actually when, when, when you see that title. Um, in fact, in a way, sort of show of hands, how many of you would say that you know, around the office or when you're on site you, you've heard users come up with comments like this? Very, oh dear, oh, oh dear. <laughs> quite, quite a lot of hands. Um, it's, uh, it, it's a bit of a frustration, um, I think, when this happens. And in many ways, perhaps I'm going to jump sort of 59 minutes ahead of the talk and steal my own thunder by saying that really there's, there's absolutely nothing wrong whatsoever with the Oracle eBusiness Suite. In fact, I would say it, it's the best in the world uh, system. Um, you can't blame the system any more than uh, if, if you have a bad meal. Let's face it, you can't blame the food, can you? It's not the food's fault. Uh, it's the fault maybe of the chef or perhaps the expectations. Uh, there are quite a lot of things that can go wrong and at the end of the day, what we're then left with is some unhappy users and that's what we're going to explore over the next hour or so. But before we get into that, just a, a few words then um, about myself. So, so I'm, I'm, my name's Marcus Rogers and I'm the eBusiness e Suite practice head of uh, DSP Managed Services here. Uh, won quite a lot of awards. This is actually last year. This, uh, this uh, year that's just gone past, we won even, even more awards, which we're delighted about. It's a, a consulting firm based in, in Covent Garden, uh, which is a, a lovely place to be. And I've been there for about two years now. And before that, I've worked either for Oracle or alongside Oracle for just kind of 20 years now. So that, that explains the gray hairs, of course. So that's um, MPL, for those of you who remember that, 8.4. Release 8.4 was when, uh, when I started. So I've seen a fair few implementations and upgrades along the way. And still, we often hear these comments from, from the users. And that's what I wanted to explore this afternoon. OK, so let's, uh, let's get started then. So a million dollars later, yes, or maybe more, uh, I love my new finance system, but my users still prefer the old system. And, and why is that? And I'm going to take this from, from two different angles primarily. First of all, we can say, well, if you've, if you've got a new Greenfield implementation of Oracle that's going on, what is it that you need to do to ensure that at the end of the, at the, end of the day, when the point to go live, you've got contented users? So that, that's one half of the argument. Um, and that really is getting off to a good start. Um, and to uh, cover that, I'm going to run through what I view as the sort of golden rules of implementation. It's not a methodology or anything like that. It's more just, you know, from, from the years of experience, what are those things that you really need to look out for that can perhaps make a big difference to the user experience uh, at, at the end of the day? But once you've gone live, that's one thing. But then to keep that, what I call the drumbeat of success, that, that's another story. Uh, when the implementation is ongoing and you have to respond to change, um, how do you then keep the users happy? That, that's, that's, a, that's, that's a different uh, challenge. Um, and then the final thing that we might look at, if we've got a bit of time, is how you can respond to change. And of course, the big issue at the moment is, is the upgrades to, uh, to release 12. And I think there are many, many talks going on this week that addresses that. And, and we're going to touch on some of that uh, towards the end of the talk. And as a general rule, I'm going to say, that first bit is easy, should be easy. Now, I guess it never is, but we're going to look at that. Uh, this piece is harder uh, to keep it going. You'd like to think it's the other way around. Um, and as for upgrading or re-implementation, well, I guess you decide on, on that one there. So why is it easy and th then it gets harder? Does anybody recognize this chap? No, a bit of a culinary hero of mine. Anybody French? No, okay. Well, that, he, he's a three Michelin starred chef called uh, Bernard Loisier. Um, and he saw the difference between getting things going, winning three stars, and then maintaining them. And the, the stress of maintaining that level was enough for him to, uh, to shoot himself, poor chap. So I'm not suggesting necessarily that keeping Oracle going would actually cause you to kill yourselves. Please don't. That, that, that might be another talk that you'd, uh, you'd have to go to. Uh, 